It's Sunday. The drinks are cold. The barbecue is hot. This is your pregame party you don't want to miss with host Tracy Lynn, the one with the perfect shade of pigskin lipstick. We talk about the NFL teams you hate and love. It's a complicated relationship, one where someone's ego will get bruised. Pigskin Lipstick is a weekly show dedicated to making your couch gating, home gating, and tailgating football experience even better. We bring you interviews from the world of sports and entertainment. I'm not play-by-play or a stats guy, you're right. I'm just a girl that loves football. Up next, we're going to discuss a tweet that really ticked me off because we can't talk about football if we don't discuss the Labor Day Classic. Stay tuned, TSN 1150. Joining us now is Todd Washington, and he's in his fifth year as Baltimore Ravens assistant offensive line coach. Hello, Todd. Well, hello, hello. How are you Back doing? On the air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you... doing well. We're actually, you know, things are going in full swing, getting ready for Denver, and uh, you know, we're. You know, we're excited to get the season started, and I know a lot of fans are excited. Football is back, but uh, it's a long process, and uh, today is day one for us. Football is back. That is just like the angels are singing right now. <laughs> I love the sound of that. So tell us, what can we look forward to going into this game? Because I, I know, like, every, everything's has – like, the dust has settled by the time this first game is starting, Right. Yeah, um, the dust is settled. Your your rosters are fairly set after camp. Um, for us, it's a huge game because not only we're on the road, we're in a hostile environment at Denver, and uh, you know John Elway found a way to snatch up our offensive coordinator Gary Kubiak, and now he's the head coach at Denver. So there's a lot of interesting plot lines and storylines going on that people don't know about, and uh, we're very excited to have a chance to play. Well, why don't you tell me about some of them? Some of them, like it's just me and you. That's it. No one else. No one else can hear us. Give me some breaking news. Well, I tell you what, it was uh, it was great to have Gary here. Um, the system he brought in really lit a spark in our team, and our players just uh, responded very well. And we had probably one of the best offensive production uh, seasons that we've had in a long time. And now um, he's taken that and went to Denver, and now uh, Coach, uh, Mark Tressman's come in from Chicago. And, um, you know, there's a lot of questions on our end. Are, are we going to be the same? Are we going to change? And anytime you have a new coordinator or a new coach comes in, there's going to be some, some change. There's going to be some carryover. But you just don't know how it's going to look until you play your, play your opponent. So mm-hmm. it's going to be exciting. Um, you know, it's going to be some nervous tension in the air. But after the, after the kickoff, it's going to be football, and the team that executes the best will win. I know. I'm loving it. I can't wait. Now, you're talking about, like, change, and, and, and there has been a lot of changes that have happened over the last little bit. What about your line? What are we seeing that's happening there? Um, this is probably the first time in, in years that we've actually had the same starting five uh, from last season. Um, our offensive line has been in flux for the past few years, and these guys, those guys have done a great job with the, whoever was out there. And uh, this is the first time, as I said before, we have the same starting five that's going to be together. And we have some continuity. We have some cohesiveness. Um, you know, communication will be great. And we have actually have a couple of backups, that and John Ursula and James Hurst, that actually played as rookies on the offensive line and, they were part of our playoff win at Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. So we have depth. Um, we have guys that can play multiple positions. So um, I'm very excited to see these guys perform. How's that Super Bowl ring doing? I know I had a chance to try that on when I saw every, you a few years I ago. Get car- <laughs> I still get carpal tunnel every once in a while when I put it on. But uh, That's a big I, ring. <laughs> it is very big. At the time, it was the biggest professional ring ever, uh, championship ring made. And um, I think New England – found a way to make theirs a, a millimeter bigger than ours, uh, which is fine. But um, So make a bigger know, one this season, right? Yes, that's the plan. We're going to try to make one, make it to the Super Bowl in Arizona, and I want to try to get ring number three. Nice. And, uh, you know, this is uh, something that I, this is the reason why I became a coach in the NFL. I want to win championships, and I want to help my players win championships. Let's, let's talk about your quarterback, Flacco. He's getting a lot of hype right now. They're saying that he's underrated, but this is going to be his season. 
Well, I'll tell you one thing about Joe. Joe does not listen to any of it. Um, he's, everybody calls him Joe Cool, and he is. He's the same guy every day. He comes in and works hard. He's one of the first guys to walk in this building and one of the last to leave. He understands the responsibility in being a franchise quarterback, and uh, you saw that during our Super Bowl run. And, um, you know, he has t- he has had multiple coordinators since he's been here, and he has stayed the same. He stayed the course, and he's learned a ton of football, and nothing gets him rattled. He always finds – he competes hard. He wants to win. And uh, I will definitely – I will build my team around him if I was an owner. Mm-hmm. You know, when I met him, he was very humble. And you could see yeah. that. Like he – and he – like you said, in his plays and how he approaches the media – and you know, good for him for not listening to what we have to say. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's I mean that's one thing that we talk about. And Joe understands, you know, how the, the most media um, their job is to create controversy, and he stays away from it. Yeah. He um, if he doesn't like something, he'll tell you, and uh, he's quick to to take that praise and deflect it to his teammates. And uh, that's why the people, our players, respond to him. They rally behind him, and um, he's just a blessing to have. Sounds great. Now let's quickly, we got a few minutes left. Tell me about you. What are we going to see from you this season? Well, I mean, for me, um, still here with Baltimore, going on my fifth season, mm-hmm. um, working with the offensive line with uh, myself and, and Juan Castillo, and we're trying to make sure our guys are the most prepared team in the NFL. Um, we look for any type of advantage on film. Uh, we give them everything they need so they are able to be successful on game day. And if we can't find it, I found I'll, I'll have to make phone calls. I'll find a way to get the answers they need. And you won't see me. I'll be behind the scenes working. But, you know, I, I like it that way. I don't need any attention. Um, if you hear my name being called, there must be something. Something must be going wrong. Right oh, now. Well, we don't and want anything to go wrong. We don't want none of that. We don't need none of that right now this season. This is a big season for us. So, um, like we said earlier, like I said earlier, we're looking forward to it. And, uh, I'm, when when the boys up front have success, you know why. And they execute it, but they're they will be well prepared. Okay, Todd, tell me again. Football is back, baby. Say Football it. Football is back. Football, Football is, is back, is baby. Back. In full form, in full, full 100%. And I'm very excited, but I also know this is going to be a marathon, not a sprint, so I can't get overly excited. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you very much for taking some time to talk with Pigskin Lipstick Here on TSN 1150. Thanks, Todd. Oh, no problem. Thank you. We'll be back again soon.